CIS was really ahead of its time here at Cornell. One of the first schools that combined computer science with information science and statistics. So this early combination was incredibly innovative. We're training and developing the next generation so that they can be the leaders of the information age. We all share a huge drive to change the world. The late 1990s feels like a long time ago now. I think our experiment in 1999 helped change the landscape of higher education in the U.S. Creating CIS was a pretty revolutionary idea. The founders of CIS saw the kind of change that computing could have ahead of time. My vision of the future was that in the near future, every student at the university is going to need some computer science. This idea of bringing together people who work in technology with people who work in, in the social sciences and humanities, with end users in the natural sciences, with people who think about ethical and societal implications, to bring all those people together and really genuinely collaborate on these problems. That was not really something that was necessarily happening so much in higher education in the 1990s. We really wanted to be able to help guide that impact, help influence it or shape it. What we've learned in the intervening 20 years is that so many of the really interesting and really hard problems are not just about the technology. They're about the technology and how the technology is used and the societies in which it's used. Within the walls of CIS, I think we're making science fiction become a reality. It's about asking, what am I making here? What am I making and how can I apply that to the world? And how is that going to change things? There's a huge set of opportunities available for research, uh, for collaborations, uh, for new ideas in statistics, as well as for having real world impact. How do humans interact with computers? How do humans interact with robots? How do robots interact with humans? And how do computers change the way humans interact with each other? How should we think about the way that technology impacts folks who maybe live in nursing homes and have dementia? How can we think about their privacy differently? What CIS has introduced me to is the idea of leveraging technology, leveraging computing power to solve bigger problems in the world, such as, for me, financial literacy in minority communities. It's not just about teaching our students how to code, it's about teaching them about the impact that technology will have in society. We're trying to solve a grand challenge of how do we sustainably feed 10 billion people in 2050. Systems and tools that I developed will eventually impact 10 billion people a few decades down my career. We're trying to ignite in our students a certain fearlessness to use their creativity and their abilities with the technology to, to really try taking these ideas and using them to accomplish good in the world. I tell my students this is the best time to be alive because you have this hope of solving these great problems. We actually have the ability to completely define where we go with technology right now. 